guys, welcome to Happy Metal Television. I'm Susie Von Slaughter and I'm here with my pal Nurgle and we're gonna have a little chat right now. It's awesome. Okay. So this is the beginning of your tour. How's it you know, are you guys excited about it and all that? Yeah, very much so. Uh, a bit jet lag. That's why I'm wearing uh, sunglasses in uh, <laughs> inside because I'm just a bit you know tired and uh, you pretty much need them anytime in Arizona. Sleepy and <laughs> stuff. But um, no, I mean, we are really stoked about this tour and uh, we're about to go on stage in two, three hours. And um, we're here to promote our new record, mm -hmm. recently, we are recently on the Satanist. And um, it's good to be back, really. I mean, it's been almost two years, I believe, since we came to US last time. And yeah, it's good to be back. Yeah, I was there. Great show, by the way. Awesome. You. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm a huge Thank fan. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so tell me about your new album. I um, Listening to it, it seemed a little bit uh, more raw, if you will, to me, in my you know mm -hmm. my opinion. A lot of people, you know, it was kind of mixed, but for the most part, it had really, really good feedback. What kind of feedback did you guys get? Nothing but amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm actually very much surprised about that. The record, uh, well... Once it's done, it's done, you know, I mean, I, I, I really hate to do any self-analysis here. It is what it is. It's there in the records. If you will, just go and pick up your copy and make, your, make up your own interpretation or opinion on that one. I love this record myself. It's one of my ten children. <laughs> he has like ten records, so... And they're all amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's like children, you know, mm -hmm. and even if they're crippled and disabled, you know, still love them, right? Right. And, um, uh, so, yeah, there's no different, you know, my, my approach to the Satanists is no different than to the other records, pretty much. But um, honestly, I've never been more satisfied on an artistic and creative level. So, this is definitely creative creativity wise it's the peak of our career that's for sure it seems that uh, like a commercial you know commercial reasons and everything is also you know catching up real fast and it's selling really well which is good you never complain when you're an artist when your records are you know when they sell so mm -hmm. it's, it's good it's good I mean all the all the Pretty much all the pieces, you know, are coming together really nicely. So, um, yeah, we have no reasons to complain whatsoever. Very cool. Um, I've actually noticed that you guys have kind of, with this album especially, um, kind of hit more of a mainstream uh, fan base. You know, especially with how the internet, with how the internet is these days about being to share content yeah. immediately. Yeah. Have you guys noticed that kind of change? Like you're branching out to a bigger fan base at all? Well, I just I just got the recently I got the the, the sales figures and mm -hmm. they prove that this is the fastest selling record we've ever done. But considering the fact of a very radical content of the record, I uh, I'm surprised on one hand. So I don't know really because I really think that the Satanist is a is a very extreme album in many ways. Uh, musically, it has the, it's uh, it, there's a lot of diversity there, but um, I don't know. I mean, then we go back to the first question, and you know, and, and I just it's it's not very comfortable for me to talk about my own creation. It's just and I've done that like millions of times. You know, it seems like I simply I'm burnt out. You know, mm -hmm. when it comes to talking about yeah. it, you know, I'm way more into expressing myself and manifesting. You know, that it's 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 empowerment on stage. Mm -hmm. So um, this music is all about being experienced either by the, the performer or uh, the, the audience mm -hmm. and the synergies. You know, that, that, that you know come together and make something special eventually <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't know I mean what is mainstream then you know, if if the Satanist is mainstream then what is Rolling Stones it's true <laughs> it's <very> sorry <laughs> I, I don't know I mean I don't know mm. I'm, I'm no judge here really I'm, I'm just uh, an mm -hmm. artist no I can tell I love you I mean if anyone who hasn't seen Behemoth you really should go see them 
not plugging, you know, whatever. They have fantastic lives, such incredible stage presence, such energy. It's really unlike anything you've ever seen in my eyes, anyway. Um, so to anyone who hasn't, who doesn't know who you are, like, can, do you have any words of what Behemoth is, or like, you know what I mean, describe what they could expect, perhaps? I think a word uh, describes it all, you know. Um, I, I stole this name of, um, of the book about Gnosticism when I was a kid, when I was 15, and I wouldn't get to know what uh, behemoth in American slang means till I came here for the first time 10 years ago, I believe. So if you ask me what behemoth is all about, I'd say, well, behemoth is uh, it's something truly monstrous and massive and, and scary. So I think it's a nice uh, metaphor of, of what this music is all about. So I don't know, just come down and enjoy and if it, Hopefully you will enjoy it. Um, just, just experience. <laughs> very cool. Well, I just want to thank you for your time. Well, thank you very much. And right now, don't go anywhere because we're gonna actually slide into a Behemoth video right now. So don't go anywhere. Keep watching.